Hi, I'm Amber Renee, and we're backstage at Melbourne Spring Fashion Week. We're about to see Designer Series 3. Let's go and have a chat to some of the gorgeous guys and girls that we're going to see strutting the stuff on the runway. David, you've got quite a few agents that, uh, that have booked you all around the world. Who are some of your agents around the world? I'm with Cameron's here in Melbourne. They're my mother agency. And I've got the men's division in Sydney. And then I'm with Future in Milan and Storm in London. Wow, so Milan and London. I know that you've, you're quite a big success over at Milan Fashion Week. Yeah, um, well, I've done quite a few seasons there. Um, I'm half Italian, so maybe that helped. And I speak a bit of Italian, but uh, yeah, ended up doing the shows about four times and um, enjoyed it. How do you compare the fashion between Melbourne and Milan? Um, well, Milan, uh, obviously, they, they dress quite well over there. Um, the men have uh, probably they're probably more in touch with with their fashion maybe than than the general Melbourne guy. But I, I like the Melbourne fashion. It's, it's a bit more casual, a bit more laid back. I ride a fixie. I like the kind of more indie culture. And uh, yeah, I think we've got a good mixture here. So, big week for you? It's been a very big week. Very big two, three weeks, actually. Where have you been? Uh, I was just in Sydney doing the fashion week there, Rosemount Fashion Week. And then now uh, back here for Melbourne Spring Fashion Week. It's been good. It's been busy. It's been very tiring. I'm feeling my eyes closing, close. I'm not sure if it's because of the big lashes or because of the long days and nights. It's very gorgeous makeup tonight. I love that they've given you blue. Uh... Yeah, we're wearing blue contacts, which are very hard to get in for the first time. Uh, you get used to it, but uh, I'm not sure if I'd want to put them on every day. It's quite intense. <laughs> Their makeup brief is particularly gorgeous tonight. Do you want to run through what they've done with you? Well, they've sort of sewn in the back and then they tease the front to form this lovely little creation. And then we've put contacts in and done a fairly natural sort of face with the eyelashes and I think it's just going to be nude lips. So all the girls have been madly trying to put the blue contact lenses in backstage? It was a bit of a struggle because a lot of us didn't wear contacts, but yeah, no, nah, we finally got them in. But what else is on the horizon for you this year? Um, well, this year I'm actually finishing off uni, finally, and uh, working on a visa for New York, so I'm going to be moving, moving there next year. Cool. What are you hoping to achieve in New York? Just uh, continue the modelling, maybe, uh, maybe start a bit of acting and, and see what happens. Well, we love your uh, look tonight. We think the high hair really suits you. I think it's high. Could get a bit higher. <laughs>